In this video, we're going to be comparing Teachable with Thinkific to help you decide which is the best online course platform for you to build your course on. Let's get right into the video. So first things first, I want to talk about the pricing of both Teachable and Thinkific because this is one of the big factors that people generally look for. Now, first of all, you can get a free trial on both of them. So Teachable here, you can try for free and it has limited features on the free plan. Now, the thing that the free plan doesn't include is things like custom domains, all that kind of stuff. So you'd have to go to the basic plan. And on the basic plan, what you're going to get here is 5% transaction fee, five published course products, one community, one membership tier, integrated email marketing, coupons and order bumps, custom domains, and accelerator challenge access. Now, as you go up the tiers, you've got this one for $159 per month. And this offers 0% transaction fee and a few more, you know, added benefits. And then this one here is a pro plan, $250 or $249. And this is basically, you know, has a ton of different courses that you can have on it. Now, if we compare this to Thinkific, this also has a free plan. And the free plan allows you to um, basically set up your course, same as you can do on Teachable. Now, something that's good about the free plan here is that they charge you a 0% transaction fee, which is better than the Teachable's free plan. But then if we want to go ahead and actually have stuff like a custom domain and stuff like that, it's going to be £42 a month. And £42 a month is about $53 per month. So you can see that the basic plan on Thinkific is slightly cheaper overall. And then as you go up, you've got more and more stuff. So let's talk about the actual features inside both of them, starting off with Teachable. So Teachable has a very simple and easy to use interface. You sign in here, you have your schools, you can click create a school here. And when we go inside of our school here, you can see this is what it looks like when we're actually inside of it. So here we've got a dashboard, we've got our users. Inside here we have a site builder, so we can actually go ahead and build a website inside of Teachable for our um, courses or you know digital products, whatever we've got here. So this is one good feature, it integrates all in one place. Now if you go over here, you can also add custom domains, navigation. You know, it's a pretty simple um, website builder. It's nothing like Shopify, not as good as that, but it's simple and it will get the job done for you. Also inside of Teachable, we have some email marketing stuff. So you can automate your email marketing, you've got abandoned carts, you've got templates. And this is really good that it's all in one place, integrated, you don't have to connect any third party stuff. But to use this, you actually have to upgrade the plan to actually go ahead and use that. So it's not on the free plan. So next up on the actual product section, they have a few type of products that they let you offer. You can have courses, coaching, digital products, and community. So if we go ahead and hit a look here at a course, this is a course I've just quickly created. And they have this really cool AI feature that allows you to create um, a curriculum, create the whole course, essentially just using AI. So you just describe what's going to be inside of the course and it goes ahead and it actually generates you loads of stuff. So it's generated me a full curriculum and inside here it's also generated me lesson plans, um, all that kind of stuff. So it's quite good for helping you, um, you know, get your stuff going quickly and easily. So it really is it, really good in that way. Now you can also design your templates and all that kind of stuff. But if we look at the base where it looks, it should load any second now. Okay, so for some reason it won't load, so that's maybe the downside. It could potentially be a bit buggy. And over here we can also do stuff like pricing. So something we've got here, we can we can set up the pricing. And they allow you to offer a few different pricing models, which is really good. So you can have a free pricing plan, one-time purchase. So this is when they buy it and they've got access forever. Payment plans, so this is like um, monthly installments. And subscriptions, so this is like recurring payments to have access to the group or whatever. So that's really cool that you have all these different pricing options. And they also have sale pages, so you can build sale pages, kind of like funnels for specific products. And their builder is, you know, it's very simple, but to be honest, it does have a lot of features that you might need. So it's really good that it's all in one place. So now let's jump into Thinkific. And we can see that the UI is actually quite similar, where you have this like bar on the left hand side. and we go over here to our products, we can go to courses, and we can go ahead and we can create a new course here. And actually, because I have already one course, I can't make another one. So I can go onto this course that I've created here. And you can already see that there is a lot less functionality that with Thinkific. So if I try to add a chapter, I can do that. Um, and inside there, I can add a lesson if I want to. But you can see that there's a lot less that you can do with this. You've got the same features somewhat, but there's a lot less customization overall. Um, you've got your importer, your settings, 
you've got your drip pricing after purchase and publish but you can see really it seems just kind of like a basic version of teachable so if i quickly show you a preview this is what it would look like for students looking at your courses it would be like this they click complete and continue and then they go back to the next chapters or whatever like that and i think it's quite bare it doesn't have the community aspects that some other course sort of providers do have which is a major downside of it it does allow you to create communities here but it's not all in one place like um like it is on teachable um and i feel like the ui overall is not as good now if we look at the the, the site designer it does have a site designer here um and it's somewhat better or well, it's, it's kind of equal in a way to teachable but there are some pros and cons of it so if i go in here and edit my site i think that the kind of whole layout of the site kind of looks a bit more modern it looks a bit more unique i find that teachable looks a little bit generic and out of date um that's just my how i how i feel about it um it's quite easy to edit use the editor on here but again it's going to be nowhere near something like Shopify, but it's going to be quite simple for something like this. It also allows you to integrate the payment process, so all of that into here, so it's pretty useful for that. In my opinion, though, I would recommend going for Teachable. It's a tiny bit extra each month, but the added customization and features it has is a lot, is, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a deal breaker for me. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below that helped. Thank you for watching.